what's going on guys welcome to octane addicts we're right here at greenville picking speedway in beautiful Pickens, south carolina we're here with the fast group all these big rig truckers we're here with dak he's one of the drivers of uh one of these big rigs tell us a little bit about that uh so i drive the number 34 freightliner uh which is a 12.7 uh, detroit diesel 60 series um 10 speed not anything super special it's just uh something to get out there on track have fun with and actually enjoy driving. It's kind of a brand new truck, isn't it? Yeah. You just got it uh, together? Justin, uh, my teammate, uh, his truck was built last year and they've been working on refining his. And then we got pushed back in the series a little bit. So they decided they had more time. Why not build two more trucks? So that's kind of how I came, came to be. That's right. So what is your goal for the night with this brand new truck? What are you going to try to do? Uh, Meet really, Justin? No, I don't know if I would love to, but I don't <laughs> know if that's something that's going to happen. Uh, I just want to get out there and really have fun and uh, to see what I can do in a truck. It's something completely new and just want to have fun. Cool, cool. Is there anything in particular you want to say about it or any of your sponsors or anything like that? Uh, <laughs> sure. Um, I actually have my own YouTube channel, okay. uh, Daydream Motorsports. Justin's on it as well. Uh, we do that just kind of for fun here and there. Uh, we're doing the truck stuff all, all the time. And then uh, my main sponsor is uh, Deechworks and uh, McLeod Clutches. Okay, nice, nice, nice. Well, man, I wish you luck, brother. Thank Be you. safe out there tonight. We got Justin, one of the drivers. He just took me on a ride. It was insane. Justin, tell us a little bit about your truck. So uh, my truck is a uh, 378 Peterbilt, um, stock gearbox, stock rear end, uh, steering box, everything. Uh, it's got a 14 liter non-EGR Series 60. It's hopped up a little bit. We got a little extra fuel to it, turbo. Uh, but other than that, uh, all stock internals, uh, everything on that truck, you can go buy from Detroit Diesel right now. Now explain to me a little bit. I haven't been in a race my whole life. I've never seen water brakes. Explain a little bit of the water brake system. That's kind of weird on a track where you don't typically <laughs> want water. Y'all are putting water in the brake system. Yeah, so uh, a lot of the road coursing trucks, uh, which is back when I initially got into trucks, that's what we started out doing was road racing them. Over in Europe and stuff like that, um, they do the same thing. Theirs is a little different. They run pressurized. Um, ours, it's just, it's cheaper. It's easier for, you know, the everyday guy to go to tractor supply, grab a water pump, um, get some spray nozzles, you know, and fab them up to where they spray on the brakes. And what we do is on the the disc brakes, we actually spray right where the pad meets the, the rotor. Mm -hmm. um, and it's a constant flow. Uh, same thing with the drums uh, in the rear. Ours are actually internal, so ours spray right where the, the uh, shoes meet the drum. And right before we go green, we flip them on, and they're on the whole time. That is insane. That, that's something you don't really hear about in racing, having water brakes, because you know you want as much track as you possibly get. Right. But apparently we have plenty because we made it around here. We were flying, we were sideways and turning four down there. We had a blast. Now, tell me a little bit more about some of the electronics in here. I know you all have like a race pack, but it's not called. It's, it, it's diesel something pack. It's honestly, that's just a Detroit diesel. Okay. Uh, just basically like a dash pack, you yeah. know. Um, but uh, it's nothing fancy. You can buy it for like air compressor applications, jet set applications, okay. stuff like that. Um, they have them in some of the trucks. Um, it's just a, just a real crude dash setup. So it's know? not so, a programmer or nothing. Like no, that. I don't have okay. uh, I don't have any aftermarket uh, programmers or anything like that. Uh, the ECM is tuned. Okay. Um, it, it does have a tune in it. Uh, but other than that, it's all. Uh, plain Jane. So you all, I mean, when you say a tune, it's just a built-in tune in the ECM. You don't hook it up to the laptop or nothing like that. No, no, no. It's, okay. it's a okay. tune. It's been hooked to a laptop okay. and, you. you know, it's been, okay. I mean, it's spent some time on the dyno. And so you can go miles for miles with these things, yeah. uh, but with the electronic engines, we we like them because you can, you can harness every little bit of horsepower. Yeah. So. Cool. So your plans out here tonight, I know there's a bunch of trucks out here. What is your plans? Take all the money? Go fast, turn left, and hopefully take all the money. It, it, go, it uh, never goes as planned. It never goes as planned, that's for sure, especially in racing. You know how that goes. Never know until you take care of flag. Well, Justin, I appreciate you having us out.
little bit about your truck there, Chris. 01 Freightliner, generally Detroit powered 60 series, uh, 14 liter. So what's your game plan for tonight here at Granville Pickens? Uh, just keep the truck in one piece. Keep the truck in one piece, yeah. I hear you. Um, and just see what happens. We can just the weather line and stuff like that. Yeah. The it truck used to be, the truck I originally had was wrecked. So this is just like, it's a, another truck that uh, we had that, you know, basically we just threw a paint job on now to make it look like what it is. Okay. Stuff like that to get started. Because it's an up and coming series. We're trying to build it up and stuff again. So. Yeah. Um, and then it was Father's Day, so I ran uh, down to Florida last night, got him, turned around, drove 700 miles back up here, and then had to go do a load in between and just got here. My, the, the trucks are coming from uh, now, cool. so a Yeah, that's late. what they're saying. They're on their way up. So. Well, I can't wait to see it, Chris, and I hope you all have a you know great, safe time out here tonight and have a lot of fun and put on one heck of a show. Do a try. Thanks, Thanks man. Thanks, buddy. Thank you. Thank you, little buddy. <laughs> Thanks, guys. Tell me a little bit of backstory about yourself and what, how it was last week when you were in the big ring. Oh man, it turned great. It turned better than I ever expected it to. Um, I thought it was going to push like a dump truck, but I was running it in at Hickory. I was running it into the damn pit gate and just riding the brakes a little bit and it cut. I mean, I, I I ran that thing in deeper at Hickory than I'd ever ran a super late model. So I, I don't know. I mean, I, I don't I don't know how it does it, but somehow the damn thing turned. <laughs> I'm with you because I actually, I was riding with Justin earlier with the series and we were making some laps and we were coming into the corners and stuff and I'm asking, is this an aftermarket steering box stuff? Because I'm used to, you know, the late model and stuff like that as yeah. well. And, them things, it seems like they just turn so easy. Yeah. And you would think, like you say, it would drive like a dump truck. Oh, they yeah. They don't. They actually no, handle it really I, good. I don't, I don't know how. Uh, yeah, so it had an open open rear end last week. I don't know if we're going to, you know, run a, a, a locker or a welded yeah. differential this week. I don't know. But, I mean, I'm kind of afraid to lock it up because I don't want to kill the center because it yeah. turns so good in the center. I, I don't want it. But I, I guess the big thing is, you know, whether or not with that open rear end, whether or not we're going to be able to get the traction coming up off. You know, if we can't, we're going to have to lock it up. Yeah. I appreciate you coming out and talking to us. And I uh, wish you a lot of luck tonight. Thank uh, you. We're going to be here for the show. So we're okay. Looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. I mean, I'm going to, I'm going to hustle it. I'm going to get everything that I can get out of it. We'll see. I mean, Justin's, Justin's truck is definitely a little bit better than what I'm running, but I'll do the best I can. Hey, it's all about the will. Yeah, for sure. <laughs> we're going to do it. I'm here with Adam with the Fast Series. Adam, tell me a little bit about yourself and what do you do for the Fast Series? Well, I work in Columbia, South Carolina, about 80 miles from here. Um, I work on big trucks. Uh, we, my father has an aftermarket unit truck part shop. So I've been kind of in it all my life. Um, I actually race double zero, so okay. that's what, how I got tied up in it. Cool, how long have you been racing the big rig trucks? For quite a while? Uh, 2016. Wow, okay. Tell us a little about, about the double zero. <laughs> It'll go. Yeah. I, mean, it, you know, I know you can't give all the secrets out, motor-wise, what, what do you got? I mean, it's a 12.7 Detroit. Um, it's turned up. It's probably, it was pushing about 1,400 horsepower to the wheels. Um, we turned it down a little bit. The smoke, smoke's just outrageous. So we turned it down a little bit. It, it, it does good. It, it's light in the back end, so it, you, have, you have to wheel it around the track a lot. Um, for the most part, I mean, it's a good truck. I mean, eats right fronts like crazy on high bank tracks, but you know. Is this your first time at Greenwood Pickens? No, I've been here actually three other times. Okay, I've wrecked, cool. the wrecked the first two times that I was here. So. Well, let's not repeat that today. Yeah, that's the charm. <laughs> let's not repeat that today. Hopefully you take it to victory lane. Thanks for uh, talking to us a little bit and wish you luck today, because I know it's about race time, so Appreciate we'll let you get it, at it, buddy. buddy.